Greetings, esteemed viewers. Uh, welcome back to 007, where uh, we, we were uh, betrayed by, um, uh, I almost said handsome. No, what's her name? Edith? Edith? Ada. Edith, Ada, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is his Edith? <laughs> Hold on a second. What? What? What's it? What's it? Why are we holding on? <laughs> she even parts her hair the same way. As oh. <laughs> See, I thought you were going to comment on the story. No. Yeah, no, like Ada's I just hair is even parted the same way in the same <laughs> length. This is definitely just Ada. Right here. <laughs> yeah, no, I just got here and like that is literally the first thing I saw when I thought what I thought when I saw her. I don't even play Resident Evil. <laughs> I mean she's supposed to be Japanese though, is Ada Japanese? <laughs> is Does she not sound <laughs> Yeah. Or Chinese oh. American, one of the two. All of the above. I didn't even actually know she was Asian. Hold on. <laughs> her name is Ada name, Wong. Her last name is Wong. <laughs> she runs around with a vaguely kimono slash Chinese looking silk dress. I don't know, it's just a fashion statement. I didn't know it was a cultural thing. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, games aren't really good at showing that without making it really blatant. <laughs> okay, yeah, alright, um, I can... You see, now that I know, <laughs> I can kind of see it, yeah. <laughs> but, um... And what if Ada is just pretending she's Japanese? I mean, she is, uh, you know, a spy. <laughs> I mean, you know, happens. I'm, I'm sure sometimes spy pretend, spies pretend they're ethnicities that they're not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do that literally all the time. You learn another language, learn it convincingly, and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's a spy. All I have to do is learn a language, and I'll be able to be hired by the, by, by the CIA. <laughs> I mean, that's just step one. <laughs> <laughs> um, for anyone who cares, this is my favorite gun. I don't know why. It just is. <laughs> At least it's not the goddamn pea shooter. <laughs> Anything's better than the water gun. <laughs> but uh, what I don't understand is why there are so many armed guards stationed in a stairwell. What I don't understand yeah. is what the fuck are those cables or chains he was just sliding down? What is this? <laughs> See, at first I thought, oh, you know, elevator. But like, this isn't an elevator shaft. This is a stairwell. Unless they are trying to be more efficient and put the elevator shaft in the stairwell. Which I would be <laughs> What's funny okay is that was my first thought, too. <laughs> like my exact train of thought except for the efficiency part yeah. <laughs> I'm not aiming very well so I have to strafe around the serpentine patterns to avoid getting hit <laughs> um, oh this is a fun part so uh, there's a death suitcase in the hallway and if I step out in front of it I'll get got so what <laughs> I tend to do is I tend to put my own death suitcase <laughs> In front of the death suitcase, so I can have my death suitcase shoot the other death suitcase. It's not working. <laughs> this is by far the most efficient strategy I have ever come up to de with to deal with this sort of thing. Short of throwing a grenade, which I don't trust myself to do, hmm. um, because I just throw it and it would ricochet off of a wall, hit me in the head, and kill me. <laughs> Hold on, did you just inject yourself with something to control the suitcase? Uh, no, it's a, it's a remote control. Son. <laughs> it's a remote control. Uh, I don't know how I can see the camera. A remote control. Because there's no display seems, on the remote control. Seems like a goddamn needle. So, no. <laughs> I know that's not it. We're not in the Matrix or some shit, but. <laughs> It probably has to be nanobots because I don't know how I can see what's going on. <laughs> what are you doing to that door? <laughs> uh, well, there's this woman who wants to get out, and I want to get in, <laughs> so it's a war of, of sorts. <laughs> you know, if they were holding her hostage, they weren't doing a good job. Uh, well, they weren't holding her hostage. They didn't even shoot her. They, sh they shot me. They're bad at being a hostage, pe people. 
people who have zero hostage. out of what? ten <laughs> would not hostage again. <laughs> Is there like a hostage section on Yelp? <laughs> Okay, that guy's the worst soldier ever. I opened the door loudly, <laughs> and he's just shot like shot him a couple times. Gotta patrol this aisle, and then he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> but I love how in first person. Can you imagine a, a realistic first person shooter where you can only be shot once and then you die? Can you imagine that? <laughs> I think that's called hard mode. I don't even think I don't even think that's how it goes. See, see, this is what happens <laughs> when I try to throw a grenade. <laughs> Brian, get good. <laughs> also, I so, feel like there should be an awful lot more fire in that hallway. Oh, you know, it's a it's an anti-fire grenade, and it didn't even do what I wanted it to do. It just blew up the hallway. <laughs> And it didn't even do that! Waste. Did you just waste a death suitcase? Really? Uh, no, no, I, uh, well, first of all, I have my own death suitcase. Thank you very much. His name no, is Steven. I mean, <laughs> one, the, the one that looks like you just sat down. No, see, he just has to cycle through literally everything to do <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Including all. the goddamn shaver! <laughs> <laughs> So this this was a mistake. See, I tried to turn it 90 degrees, but there's like a, a metal prong in the way. <laughs> so I had to place it <laughs> somehow facing. <laughs> but I had to wait until it stops shooting first. And it has infinite bullets, by the way. But at least it took out the bad guys, question mark. <laughs> hey, you know what? At least it's efficient. It never runs out of ammo. I mean, that, that's pretty admirable. This is just a clusterfuck. It has no way of telling the difference between bad guys and me. <laughs> so it just shoots everybody. <laughs> oh god, another I don't know what's, case. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the placement of it where it could shoot bad guys or the fact that bad guys didn't know it was placed there and they just got killed by it. <laughs> I don't but, know. Uh, All I know is that if that was red, this would definitely be Ada. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um... But uh, this is the actual elevator shaft. Um, not gonna lie, not sure why we got out of the elevator. Not sure why we did that. I don't know how it helps us to do that. But, you know, we're riding on top of the goddamn elevator because we're James fucking Bond. That's See, I was just do. thinking that, oh, wait, no, if you were in the elevator, then when you get to the floor, they, the, the doors open up, they just open fire. But then you could just do Men in Black and just be like, ah, oh, the ceiling and just pop down and be like, hey, and then they shoot again. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> the thing about that is uh, the elevator doesn't even stop. It doesn't stop until it gets to the ground floor. <laughs> so I could have just written that. <laughs> now, yeah, Brian, I you didn't even hear what I said. All they have to do is wait at the ground floor and open oh. fire. <laughs> right. Okay, see, I thought they were gonna stop me at the floor before the ground floor. They could also oh. do that, technically. <laughs> I mean, they seem to be stationed on every single fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> Except the ground floor, because I'm gonna get down there. <laughs> and I mean, they probably have me. enough manpower to put them at every single floor. <laughs> or to just, you know, turn off power to the elevator and let you fall to your death, but... Well, the elevator would just stop, but that, you know, that's fine, because then I wouldn't be able to escape. What am I gonna do? <laughs> now, like, if I wasn't on top of the elevator, I wouldn't be able to stop these, these charges. But I didn't even know they were gonna put charges on in the first place, so, you know, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Hold on. Did you just ride on top to the bottom just so you could get inside of it? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. If they don't open fire when the doors open, they're stupid. Well, we already knew they're stupid. <laughs> We're not really getting any new information here. Ser <laughs> oh nope. To be fair, that guy is shooting at you. They just didn't have like <laughs> six guys shooting at you. <laughs> just that one guy crab dancing around. <laughs> Mocap. <laughs> Some person had to do that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, that's funny to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Guy in green like a... morph suit with a bunch of ping pong balls just going like, <laughs> walking like Zoidberg. <laughs> oh, okay. Just imagine you have actual crabs in your shoes. Go. <laughs> 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 oh shit, yeah, nice Arco parkour! Roll. I'm really glad he did that <laughs> instead of just getting to cover. Oh shit, it's the red car. Oh shit, now who are have, you? She's her name is um it's not Zoe. It's uh <laughs> it's not Cleo, uh Fuck it might be Zoe. No! Allura! Hold yes! on a second! <laughs> Her name Hold is Alora. Don't think I didn't just fucking notice this. The driver's side just switched. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. It's fine. The driver's side just straight up switched. She was on the right side of the car, looking at him like, hey, time to get in. Then they switched seats, and the driving wheel came with her. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spike. She's with Australian intelligence, Ariel. Maybe the maybe you could just do that. Maybe they could just do that with a zero wheel. I've been thinking oh, that. you know what? You know, that's fine. I'm sure they spent a lot of money to develop that. That seems very useful. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Have you ever gone to a country you're like shit? Suspension of disbelief ruined. <laughs> we had a shaver bomb flashbang grenade, Ariel. Anything goes. <laughs> <laughs>